This video demonstrates the tape splicing procedure for lifeline cables inside the UL listed Selco Manufacturing NEMA 4X stainless steel enclosure. Prismian Group's lifeline cables are UL2196 listed and preferred over minerally insulated cables or other construction means to achieve a fire rating. Lifeline cables are less costly and easier to install. To begin, install the EMT connector to the enclosure using channel lock pliers. Install the EMT conduit to the connector. Tighten the connector nut to the EMT conduit using the channel lock pliers. Pull wires through EMT into the box. Next, install the Rimkey PowerTech metal clad cable connectors and secure using a stainless steel locking nut. Remove the copper armor from the cable using the tubing cutter while being careful not to cut into the cable inner jacket. For multi-conductor cables, it is recommended to remove the armor for a length equal to 2 inches greater than the enclosure width to ensure sufficient length of conductors is available for terminating. For single conductor cables, the recommended armor strip length is half the box width plus 2 inches. Cut off and remove the outer filler where it exits the armor. Next, insert the Lifeline MC cable through the connector and into the enclosure. Bend excess conductor length out of the enclosure opening and take care not to damage the cable when pushing into the enclosure. Tighten the rim key connector gland nuts. Remove the inner jacket to one inch from the MC connector while taking care not to nick or cut the conductor insulation. Cut and remove excess inner separator member. Apply four wraps of 3M69 glass cloth tape over the inner jacket. The edge of the tape should be aligned with the edge of the inner jacket one inch from the connector hub. Apply four wraps of 3M69 glass cloth tape around each conductor where the conductors exit the inner jacket. Next, determine where the splice will be positioned within the enclosure, allowing at least one and a quarter inches of excess conductor within the enclosure. It is recommended to splice conductors located near the back of the enclosure first to permit access to all conductors installation. Cut the conductors to be spliced with consideration for the desired splice location. Strip to expose the conductor for the length required to properly fit the connector. The strip length depends on wire size and connector length and should be half the overall length of the connector. This will ensure the conductor fully inserts into the connector and minimal conductor is exposed outside the connector. Apply a reference mark on the conductor insulation one inch from the stripped end. This mark will be used to determine the proper position of the heat shrink tubing.
install the pre-cut length of heat shrink tubing over one side of the conductor pair to be spliced. Install the compression connector over the exposed conductor ends and crimp with the correct color-coded die. Then, cut a strip of lifeline ceramifiable tape and wrap the connector at a 45 degree angle with 50% overlap. Start wrapping over the insulation with the leading edge of the tape aligned with one side of the connector. Continue wrapping until the other side of the connector is reached and the connector is covered by tape two layers thick. Inspect the tape to ensure it has proper coverage and tear-free wrap. If wrinkles occur during wrapping, the wrinkles may be compressed smooth by hand. Remove excess lifeline ceramifiable tape so only the compression connector is covered by tape. The excess can be carefully removed by cutting with a utility knife at each side of the connector. When completed, the connector should be covered with two layers of lifeline ceramifiable tape and there should be one inch from each side of the lifeline ceramifiable tape to reference the marks previously applied. Slide the heat shrink tubing over the wrap connector and verify the connector is centered under the tubing based on reference marks previously placed on conductor insulation. When installing the shrink tubing, care should be taken not to damage or move the ceramifiable tape. Tubing is sized to slide freely over the wrap connector. However, care must be taken when the conductors are bent leading into the compression connector. When this occurs, tubing must be bent and guided over the taped compression connector. Shrink the tubing with a heat gun or torch. Apply four layers of 3M69 glass cloth tape with 50% overlap between the heat shrink tubing and the tape applied in previous steps. In many applications, there will not be enough room within the enclosure to apply tape directly from the roll and the tape will need to be cut into strips for application. When applied as multiple strips, the edges of each section should overlap the previous by a quarter inch. Lift the installed cables and insert the insulating bushing two and a half inches into the EMT connector with half an inch outside the connector folded over the connector threads. Secure the bushing in the connector by wrapping the connector threads and expose bushing with at least three layers of 3M69 glass cloth tape. Inspect splices to ensure the proper installation of previous steps. Install the breather drain in the bottom of the enclosure.
Remove any scraps of material from inside the enclosure. Close the enclosure cover and secure the clamps. This completes the tape splicing demonstration for Lifeline cables inside the UL-listed Selco Manufacturing NEMA 4X stainless steel enclosure.